In today's video, I will show you how you can control a decoder by using a microcontroller. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of IB Electronics World and today I'm going to discuss about decoders. More specifically, 74HC138, which is one of eight decoder demultiplexer. But what is the decoder? The decoder in digital electronics is a circuit that changes a code into a set of signals, which are called a decoder because it does the reverse of encoding. Decoding is necessary also for the applications for the data multiplexing for the seven segment display and memory address decoding. But let's see also what the data sheet says. So this microchip decodes a three bit address to one of eight active low outputs. This device features three chip select inputs to active low and one active high to facilitate the demultiplexing. As you can see here, this is our microchip and it has the VCC which is plus 5 volt, the ground and then it has 8 outputs which is from Y0 to Y7 and it has also 6 inputs. Three of the inputs here, A0 to A2, A2 are addresses input and the rest of the three inputs is, are cheap select inputs. So practically the main change in order to uh, have an output low is the addresses inputs. As you can see here is a truth table, function table for this microchip. When all of them, all the inputs are low, this means that all the outputs will be high. So if you connect some LEDs into the all outputs from Y0 to Y7 are going to be on. And as you can see here in the inputs, the CS1 is always high and the CS2 as CS3 is always low in order to implement this kind of output, like a continue low for Y0, Y1 low, Y2 low and the rest high, and so on. So practically we are going to leave the CS1 high, and A2 to A1 we are going to implement this uh, change so we're going if it's low we're going to drive it to ground and if it's high we're going to drive it to uh, the positive 5 volt but we are going to use a microcontroller so I have written some code which I will show you later on but let's see now in the design so here is my design I so explained I'm using a microcontroller pick 24 and this is the decoder so practically a a is A0, A1, A2 and are connected ac accordingly to the outputs of the microcontroller and then this one needs always driven to the ground which doesn't have any use, it should be low and the last one CS3 if I remember correct it, it goes to one of the outputs of the microcontroller RA3. For the input of this microcontroller I'm using a switch. When I'm I'm going to press the switch to try to blink all the LEDs from the left, from the right hand side to the left, and then all the way back. So practically the LED number one is going to be off, and then number two, number three, number four, number six, and so on. Let's check now the software. So I have defined uh, start B port B bits RB7, which is the switch for uh, the input of this microcontroller. And once I will press it, so practically it will start uh, implementing the logic below. Um, 
that have defined A0 as lat B, A1, A2, CS1. In the main function, I have implemented a very simple if else statement. You can find a different way in order to implement that, but just in order to explain how I did it. Uh, so practically, I have implemented the truth table here. So when this stage is true, so when its start bit is pressed, is high, it's going to run through these bits here. And when it's a0 equal to 0, and everything is 0 apart from cs1 equal to 1, then if you go back to the microchip, you will see that we have implemented this state here, which is y0, it will be uh, low. So this means all the rest of the LEDs are going to be on apart from y0. And then in order to implement the second, I have to set the a0 equal to 1, which is a0 equal to 1, and then cs1 equal to 1, so the y1 it will be on. I have also included 200 millisecond delay in order to see, to be able to see the, uh, the stage that is changing from the LEDs. And this is the L statement there. We have the configuration clock, which I have explained in the previous episode. I'm not going to explain again. So if you need further explanation, go back to my tutorial and you will understand further how I found these numbers here. And then we have the outputs, which are B6 to A4. Everything are set to zero because when you set to zero, it's output. And when you set to one, it's input. And this today we're going to use only the lat b7 and 3b bits 3b7 equal to 1, which is an input. Going back now to the hardware, here is my microcontroller, the decoder, the push button, and here are the eight LEDs. I'm not sure if you can see very well, but are eight and are connected. So once I will just press that switch here, you will see that it will go from the right to the left, and then from the left to the right. So practically, it's the easiest way how you can use the decoder and turn the LEDs off from the right hand side to the left hand side, but it's more useful for the seven segment display use. Pretty much that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode.